How to create anchor links in Google Sites. Hey everyone and welcome. I hope you're all doing great. In this video, I will show you exactly how to do that the best way possible in Google Sites because it is actually not the best, but it is functional. But at the same time, like I said, it's not the best. Instead of it scrolling down to the place where you want it to be, it's actually going to open up a new tab. But I mean, it is what it is. So we just got to work with what we have. So let's just go ahead and show you how to actually create these anchor links. Now, to actually create them, you will require to have some headings uh, in your page. Otherwise, you won't be able to do it with normal text. So I'm just going to go ahead and create a new page full of different headings here. So I'm just going to name it um, anchor test. There you go. And click on done. So let's just go ahead and insert some uh, headings in this uh, page here just so we can actually test things out to add a heading you would want to add a text box normally but then you want to n click on normal text and make sure that it is a heading and i'm just going to name this heading one and then from here i'm just going to go ahead and try to spam just to get a little bit of a uh, distance here and let's just go ahead and create another text box and name it heading two and ensure that it is a heading so let's just stick with these two for the time being. Uh, I may add a third one. Actually, I'm just going to add a third one off screen. Okay, great. So now we have heading three, heading two, and we also have heading one. And there's a good distance between them. So how do we actually create these uh, anchor links? It's actually very simple. Uh, first, you will actually need to publish the changes. So if you don't just try to make any sort of change just so you can actually publish it because we are required to do so otherwise if you try to view uh, the site from here it's not going to work you will need to actually click on publish uh, and make sure you actually publish it and once that that's done you will need to click on the view button on the bottom when it's, once it actually shows after you publish it and it's just going to allow us to actually view the published website now, next to each heading, you can actually see that we have a link icon next to it. So what we want to do is just go ahead and copy all of them. I'm just going to copy this first one. I'm going to copy the second one, and I'm going to copy this third one. Now that I copied all three of them, I should be able to see them by hitting Control V. Was it Control V or... Oh, I mean Windows V. Okay, my bad. And then here you can actually see all the different ones. Uh, different links here for each one. Now what we need to do basically is just go back to the editor here. And we want to insert buttons with the links of each heading. So we are going to go ahead and add a uh, button here. I'm just going to name it heading 1. And here we want to paste the link of the actual heading here. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab uh the first one and click on insert it's going to be down here but you can obviously move it up but i'm just going to not waste time and go for heading two hopefully i did not mess up the links hopefully they are in the correct order otherwise they're um yeah well you, you know exactly what to do anyways just to re rearrange them basically so uh heading three and then it should be the first link at the top hopefully and i'm just going to click on insert and now if we actually preview uh, our site here and if somebody clicks on heading one it's just going to redirect them to heading one if they click on heading two it's going to redirect them to heading two same goes for heading three now like i said unfortunately we are going to be um opening up new tabs and there's no way around it this is the only way to do it from my understanding at least um and yeah hopefully you found this video to be helpful and thanks for watching